Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're going to do another read aloud today. I hope you liked Bridge of Flowers that we read earlier. Um, this book today is called Colors of Aloha. And um, I just want to preface this with saying that this book is about Hawaii. And there's lots of words in Hawaiian in this book that I'm going to do my best at pronouncing. But if you notice that I pronounce something wrong, uh, feel free to shoot me an email or um, let me know some other way. I looked up most of the names, so hopefully I've gotten it. But uh, this book is called Colors of Aloha, and it's written by Kanoa Kayu Ortega and illustrated by J.R. Kiolani Bogak Moore. All right, so Colors of Aloha. I'm gonna do my best to make sure you guys can see all the photos. So here we go. All right. Let's switch out. My big brother, Kulani, walks me and my cousins, Pua and Helani, home from school every day. We practice hula, play dress up, and look for lizards in the holes of the cinder block wall in front of our hale, which means house. Let's go to this day. Okay. Kulani knows everything. He can surf and play ukulele, and he knows the names of all the stars. One Sunday, Kulani takes me, Pua, and Halai fishing. Today is special because he is going to teach us about colors. He asks, are you folks ready? We say yes and gobble up the rest of our breakfast. First stop is Uncle Bunny's bait shop, Kulani says. While I buy some bait, why don't you folks go find me something red? Makai, you did it. Those are ula ula, fishing floats. They help you know, help us know where our fishing hooks are when they are in the water. Next, we stop at Auntie Nalu's stand at the market. When we get there, Kalani says, See if you can find something orange and something yellow to take to the beach. Nice job! Papaya are sweet and alani on the inside. Those mangoes are juicy and uh, mele mele. These will make great snacks for the beach. So alani means orange and mele mele means yellow. On the way, we pass by Taro Beach, ta the Taro Patch, sorry. Kalani says, look, the Taro leaves are uma uma, green. On windy days, they shake and flutter. It looks like they are dancing. While I set up the fishing poles, how about you folks look for something blue? Wow, you're getting good at this. That's right, that's a polu, parrotfish. In our legend, the parrotfish is the ancestor of all the fish in Hawaii. A voice says, what's the game? Can I play too? It's Pele Peleke, Kalani's boyfriend. He's like another cousin to me in Pua and Hanali. Peleke is going to be famous and be a famous actor one day. That's why he always wears sunglasses and fancy shirts. I have 10 aunts and uncles and 19 cousins, but not all of them are related. In Hawaii, family is everyone who loves you and takes care of you. Last one to find a purple flower is a smelly rooster, Peleke says, and starts off running towards the trees. We follow him. Well done, cousin, Kalani says. You found a pony, a paui. These apui smell sweet like the pineapple and makes be a beautiful lay. We caught plenty of fish today. Let's head home for supper. On the way, we see Auntie Iwi walking to her tent. Kalani says, 
Aloha means looking out for one another and sharing when we have enough. Hey, auntie, we have plenty. Take some fish for you and uncle. When we get home, mom gives us all a big squeeze and a kiss on the cheek. Who's going to help me make dinner then? The fish smells so ono, and everyone is excited to dig in. Just then, Hinali yells, look, a rainbow. Kalani looks up and says, the rainbow is the hale where all the colors live close together in aloha, just like our family. And then I'm just gonna show you guys our last page, which says, I'm gonna hold this up so everyone can see it. Can you name all of the colors you learned today? Mom asks. I'm gonna hold that up there. So that you guys can pause and check it out if you want to. That is the end of our story. So I hope you guys liked it. That was just a little bit about Hawaiian culture and some colors and different words they use. And we will add some uh, discussion questions for you to answer in your literacy document uh, in your daily schedule activity. So that was, again, Colors of Aloha. I hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys soon.